Hello, Assalamualaikum guys and welcome back to another video. It's a brand Muslim and today I'm back with another video on Hackintosh and this time I'm not on my system and I'm on a laptop. So this is the laptop I just created for my client and this is Lenovo W540. Not a very compatible Hackintosh laptop but still got everything almost working. And so in this video I will be telling you how to get Intel HD Graphics 4600 to work on your Hackintosh using OpenCore. So OpenCore literally made the life easier for those who are using Intel HD Graphics and are, and are using laptops for our Hackintoshes. So on OpenCore it's really really easy to get the Intel HD Graphics to work and with proper graphics acceleration or also with backlight to work properly. So now right now you can see I'm on Intel HD Graphics 4600 and almost everything is working 1536 mb of internal graphics memory 24 bit color everything working performance is very fluid you can see every animation everything is so smooth that it's like a real mac right now so what i have to do for this is very very simple you have to basically start with what we always start with which is open core configurator you have to mount your efi partition you have to enter the password mount the efi partition open the efi partition and open the config.plst so if you come here and then you have to go in device properties in device properties you have to write this specific line which is pci root 0x0 forward slash pci 0x2 comma 0 x0 and then you have to enter these specific lines i will enter these lines in the description below you so you can just copy paste and avoiding any error so remember the top two lines are for everyone but if you are not going to use your igpu for a display out you don't need to use these three other lines which are frame buffer fb mem and frame buffer patch enable and frame buffer stolen memory so these three are not for you if you are not going to drive a display through your Intel HD graphics. But if you're going to drive a display as well, then you have to use these three as well. But if you just want to use your iGPU for uh, video compression or video decryption or encoding and decoding purposes, then you have to use the first two, which is AAPL IG platform ID and device ID. Once you have done this, the second very important step is that you have to select the proper working platform info. So the proper working platform info for a Mac uh, book or a laptop is basically the MacBook Pro 11.4. You can use 11.3 and 11.4 for Intel HD graphics to work pretty damn fine. So once you have selected the correct config.plst, you have to save so if you're if you're worried about how to choose a correct config.plst you just click here and go to a macbook 11 comma 4 and it will do your job once you have done this just make sure everything is fine and then you have to just save the config.plst shut this down close this and give your system a pretty neat restart and that's all to get your intel hd 4600 to work on your hackintosh laptop either it be from lenovo dell hp whatever if it has a intel haswell chipset in it this batch will do the job so that's all for this video guys hope you liked it hope you enjoyed it and if you have any question query let me know in the comment section below and i'm also available on patreon facebook and if you want any personal help let me know there i'll also build custom hackintoshes and windows systems and gaming pcs so if you need any sort of help contact me on patreon and if you need any service to help mention that in comment section below if the comments go really high i will try to make a video on that and that's all for this video guys thanks for watching hope you liked it hope you enjoyed it and until the very next video please take care allah hafiz